Hi, I'm Mark, coming to you from Baker Street Acres. Um, what I've been trying to do is uh, keep things positive and uh, report on farm things, because this is uh, what my passion is. You know, I, I really like this, and I want to share this with my fellow Americans. <clears throat> so that's why I've, lately I've just been doing these question and answer videos, just to keep it positive. You all know we're going through a, a lawsuit with the state and they're trying to shut us right down. And that hasn't been very positive. That's been very difficult for me and my family. They've actually caused us a great deal of difficulty. Um, we don't forget, and uh, the sword cuts both ways. But it's been, it's been rugged for my, my people here. And I just want to tell you what has happened here recently that I thought was especially outrageous. <clears throat> On March 13th, I answered a question about heritage pigs on YouTube um, to a lady from the UP, I believe, Upper Peninsula, Michigan. And then my wife uh, made a comment on there that we have baby pigs for sale, right? Uh, we're a farm, that's what we do. We, we have sows here. I used to have a lot of them. I don't now because we can't afford to feed them, thanks to the state. Uh, I should clarify, it's not really the state. There's a group of people in the state that are doing this, uh, and they're masquerading as, as state. But the state is you and I, actually. Uh, and this will be sorted out one way or another. But um, I made this video, and, uh, and then my wife commented that we have pigs for sale. And you can look at it. It's the March 13th Heritage Pig video. <clears throat> and then I got a, a letter from the Attorney General's office, the state of Michigan. There it is. I hope you can see that. I'm going to read the pertinent parts of it. And the two people involved in this are uh, uh, Danielle Allison Yoakum and Kelly Drake. They're the Assistant Attorney Generals. And they work for Bill Schutte, who is our Attorney General here in <coughs> the great state of Michigan. All right. I want you to remember those names, if you would. Um, and I'm going to read this to you. Um, this was sent to my attorney, Ms. Holly. I think it's Mrs. Holly. Um, I call her Michelle. But uh, your client has made recent statements in which he offered to sell live wiener or baby pigs. Based on Mr. Baker's past admission, it is clear that the pigs he is offering to sell are Russian boar Mangalitsa crosses, i.e., Russian boar hybrids. I'm, I'm going to go back and explain that. That are prohibited under the Invasive Species Order of 2011. The sale or offering for sale of these animals violates Part 1, 413 of the Natural, Re Natural Resources and Environmental, Environmental Prote Protection Act. Although any sale or offering for sale of Russian boar or Russian boar hybrids violates Part 413, the Department of Natural Resources is especially concerned about Mr. Baker selling these pigs within Michigan. All right? The DNR will not tolerate the spread of these animals in Michigan and will, will pursue penalties against Mr. Baker and any in-state purchasers, including fines up to $10,000 per animal for possession, just for possessing these animals. <clears throat> To that end, the DNR requests that Mr. Baker provide assurance that he will not sell any of these pigs to in-state purchasers. This includes any and all piglets born on Mr. Baker's farm, Baker's Green Acres, in the last six months. If this assurance is not received by March 25th, then the DNR will seek an order from the court prohibiting such sales. And then, it, and then it goes on to say that if I sell them out of state, they're going to look the other way. That's, that's basically the assurance that they give. And you can trust these guys, right? Well, let me explain this a little bit. They're saying Russian boar, Russian boar hybrids back here. By their own admission, <clears throat> any pig, uh, they're experts, and we have this in deposition which is under a gag order, so I can't show it to you, but I can tell you what it said. Mr. Bates and Mr. Guthrie both said 
All pigs, all pigs in the world are a descendant of the Eurasian wild boar. All right, that's the pig that was on the ark. Noah's ark, remember? <clears throat> so this is what I do for a living. I, I, I raise pigs and then I sell them to people. So when I told you that these people have embargoed my farm, I wasn't kidding. And we would have liked to have gone to court with them last May because we feel a judge would look at this and say, you can't do this to American citizens. You know, I, I realize you think you're the ruling class here, but you are not. Uh, these people have a right to make a living. We have the right to freedom, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. We have that right. So to this I sent this letter. This is a letter on my letterhead. I sent this letter to the Attorney General. <clears throat> Ms. Yoakum and Ms. Drake, thank you for your letter to my attorney expressing your concern about sale of my livestock. Under Invasive Species Order Number 1 of 2010, Amendment 2 of 2011, <clears throat> it specifically states, Seuss domestica swine involved in domestic hog production are not and are not intended to be affected by this order. <clears throat> domestic hog production. That's what I do. It doesn't matter what the hogs look like. They're behind fences. They're not feral. They couldn't be feral. All right? The swine we have on our farm are bred, born, and raised under our husbandry and are a mix of heritage swine breeds that we have carefully developed for the local market during the last decade. <clears throat> you and the Michigan Department of Natural Resources may call them anything you would like, but to be clear, we did not purchase and ship our pigs from Russia. <clears throat> they like to call them Russian boars. I think that's, they think it scares people, like Russian people have fangs and hurt people, you know. I know some very nice Russian people. Nor have they ever been feral. They are our own breed of swine, carefully managed and developed for breeding stock and human consumption, and are far superior to those traditionally raised in confinement facilities. Remember that? It doesn't matter what they look like, they are exempt from the DNR ISO because our farm is actively engaged in domestic hog production. In fact, anyone raising swine in Michigan under the husbandry of humans is engaged in domestic hog production. Therefore, raising Seuss domestica swine, they all, they're all exempt from the DNR ISO. Baker's Green Acres is also in the business of raising chickens. You've ruined that business for me too, girls. Uh, cattle and goats involved in involving no breeds of species that are native to the state of Michigan. It is in fact no it is a fact no breed or species of livestock is native to this state. None. Not even black and white cows. Imagine that. They were all at a point in time brought to Michigan in order to provide food and other animal products. It appears that you and the DNR have inaccurately determined that our farm is affected by the ISO, either by not meeting the definition of domestic hog production, or you believe we have captured and raised Sioux Scrofa wild pigs, feral pigs. They think we went and caught them out in the woods, and we didn't, and they can't prove that we did, and we surely didn't. I guarantee you we have never attempted to capture a wild feral pig nor raise any on our farm. From your letter you have apparently determined that Baker's Green Acres doesn't meet the definition of exemption for domestic hog production, therefore threatening us and our customers with $10,000 per animal fine. We need to immediately know, I'm asking you, we need to immediately know exactly what your legal definition of domestic hog production is. If our farm does not meet that definition, you need to let me know and I will make the adjustments necessary to meet that. Because I'm a law-abiding citizen. As a matter of fact, I fought for the laws in this land and I would definitely bring myself into line if I needed to. You're the ones that are out of line on this. But you, you're, you have to give me an answer on this. I want to know, what is your definition of domestic hog production? Okay? Thank you in advance for this important 
uh, information. Best wishes, Mark F. Baker, Baker's Green Acres, Marion, Michigan. All right. Now we're at. It's obvious what the state has done. They have prolonged this for almost two years now. All right. If there is no cash flow off my farm, that's the end of my business. We're at the point now where we've come to the end. All right. It would be really nice to be able to hang out here and have no income, but that, that's just not the way it works. And they know that. They won't go and have a fair fight with us in court. Or if we don't do go to court, they bring a bunch of guys with guns and federal agents to try and intimidate us. You Americans, you need to be irritated with this, because this is not how this country is set up. This is not how this is designed to, be, to work. Family farms have a right. As a matter of fact, family farms are what provides food security for this, for this country. These big factory farms, they can have a big problem and it can affect a lot of us. Or they can decide, we're not going to feed you anymore. I would never do that. You know why? Because when I feed you, you give me money, I pay my rent, I pay my you know, kids' food for my kids and bills and all that stuff. So I'm not going to shut you off. I won't do that. I'm coming to you again. I have lawyers to pay. All right, uh, we have a new, new lawyer, uh, Miss Holly. I have no money to pay her. Uh, I have no money to meet my bills. I have no choice but to come to you again, or uh, this will end in a short period of time. Because I cannot pay them with chicken eggs. I wish I could. I got a lot of them. And, and right now, I can sell them. But we, we don't know how long that will last, because, you know, the, the egg industry might think that uh, our eggs, because they're outside in a chicken house and not controlled, them, could be dangerous for your health. You have a right to be irritated with this. Here's how you can get back. I need you to get behind me one more time. I told you a long time ago, a year and a half ago, that this war is going to be won with dollars and cents. This state, although we're broke, they're pulling money from someplace to make the payrolls for these attorney generals that they send after us. We have to be able to go up against them. That's all I can say, is we have to be able to go up against them. We have a donate button on our website. I know this is getting old. It's getting old for me, too, you know. I thought I was done with this type of thing. I wanted to retire from the military and come here and raise my children and do this. And now I'm in this fight again. But I can tell you one thing. If they beat me, they're coming for you next. And that's, that's for sure. All right, so that's all I have to say. I'm sorry it's a little negative. I'll be back with the good stuff tomorrow because that's really all what, what farming is all about. This is, this is punk. This is absolutely punk. And I want you to remember this name, Bill Schuette. Remember that name. I'm told that that man wants to be the next governor of this state. How do you like them apples? Thanks.